Are there times it is okay to dump my client? Oh man, breakups are tough, but I'm telling you, sometimes they will give you the best uh, positivity ever. I've worked with some really bad clients, and sometimes I look at clients as, okay, are they treating me how I'm treating them, number one, and where am I? My, my theory, and I, I, I wanna always say it, I'm a broken record, you generate so you don't have to tolerate. If I just have one buyer or one seller, and they want me to cut my commission, and they're not being great, and they're hard to deal with, and they, they have unrealistic expectations, I probably am gonna have to not dump that client, right? Because I gotta feed my family. And so I think this is a question where you have to self audit and say, do I have enough leads or I'm okay turning away this business? Hey, you know what, you're not, this is not working out. I've got some realtors I can refer you to because I, do really, I don't wanna really deal with you, right? I've had those conversations with clients. My number one success is you generate so you don't have to tolerate. And so I would tell you to one, think about your business, right? You know your monthly budget, you know your finances, you know all of that. And if you understand how much you need to survive and pay your bills and you only have one client, guess what? Unfortunately, you're probably gonna have to keep that client. I always say if the client is, doesn't make sense and they have unrealistic expectations and they're probably a buyer that is more of a, a wishy washer buyer that is just here and there, I, I would probably let them go because my time is better spent prospecting and find new buyers, real buyers, buyers who are ready to buy, sellers who are ready to sell. And so I'm really, I think the, the biggest thing I can give you guys here is I was really good at truly understanding my worth, right? And we get so caught up in the one buyer, the one seller, and they start to convince us, realtors, that we need the business. And that then they start telling us prices. A great example is, hey, the house is worth, worth 400 and they think it's worth 450, and now they're convincing me, and I'm believing, and I'm buying into them thinking the house is 450, when I know I'm the expert. I'm the doctor, you don't come to me and tell me how you're going to get your shoulder fixed. I'm gonna tell you because I'm the professional. And so I think the problem is that we hold on to buyers and sellers too long because we, it's, it's the holidays or and we, we, we want this sale and I don't want them to go somewhere else and we're insecure about it. And what I'm telling you is know your worth, know your value, understand if this client is real or not. And guess what, take that time that you would have spent showing them 10, 12, 15, 20 homes when they weren't even pre-approved because they were the only buyer we had and put that towards prospecting and, and put that towards going to see the clients that you do like and put that towards finding new true buyers and true sellers because we all know that guess what, at the end of the day, the client can't get approved for a loan and you showed them houses and you knew that they would get approved one day and guess what, something changed, you've just wasted all that time and you don't look at that time as money lost, you look at it as, oh, maybe one day they'll buy and I look at that as I could have spent that time with someone else, a real person who is ready, willing and able to purchase.